Hello everyone. So let's break down the new NEET PG 2024 pattern and see how it can be approached. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Nikhil. I'm a first year OBGYN resident at KM Hospital Mumbai. So let's not waste any time and jump right to it. So firstly, what is the new pattern exactly? So this is what we know so far. Basically, the exam is going to be 210 minutes duration only. That is three and a half hours. And there are going to be 200 questions, but it is going to be broken down into five segments of 40 questions each. And each segment is going to be allotted a time period of 42 minutes. So the catch here is that at one time, you'll only be able to solve the 40 questions of the set that you're dealing with and you cannot view any of the other questions. So you'll be able to see questions from the next set only when you're done with the previous set. And that's not it. Suppose you get done with a certain set before the 42 minute time. You'll still not be able to submit that set and go ahead. You'll have to wait for the full 42 minutes to elapse before you can move on to the next set. And when you're done with one set and move on to the next one, you'll be able to deal with that set only and you will not be able to review the questions of the previous set. Now this is based on what all we know about this pattern. There might be an unexpected change in the final exam but this pattern can actually be advantageous for us as i'll explain further in the video there are two things that you should note here Firstly is that no matter what the pattern is, the syllabus still remains the same and the rest of the exam also still remains the same and it is mainly going to be PYQ centric only. And the second thing is that the pattern is not new only for you. Every single person giving the NEET exam this time is going to face this new pattern and it's going to be new for everyone. If the pattern is difficult, it will be difficult for everyone. If it is easy, it will be easy for everyone or at least most of them. So don't think about all of that. Just focus on studying, focus on solving the questions and preparing a strategy. Talking about the strategy, let's move on and see how how we can approach this new pattern. Now definitely you'll have to make a change in the way you approach the questions. Basically you would want to treat each one of these sets as a mini GT. So the approach that you apply to a complete GT, the same approach you would apply to each set. So for example, if your strategy for the main exam would have been to solve it in three hours and to review it in the last half hour, you could do the similar thing for a set. You could solve the 42 minute set in say 35 minutes and leave the last whatever minutes are left for review. And like you would do in the full exam where you would ensure that all of your questions that you know have been solved, you would do the similar thing with a set. All of the questions that you know have to be solved in a set before moving to the next one. So you can approach it in sort of a three-layered manner. So in the first go, you should definitely mark the questions that you know for sure but reading the question carefully and not being overconfident. Even if you think that you know the answer after reading the first one or two lines of the question, don't mark the answer at that time. Definitely read the full question. The answer might actually be different from what you're thinking. Now for the questions which you don't know at all, just completely skip them. For those questions in which you're doubtful about one option or two options, keep it for review but definitely mark it later. But if you have ruled out only one option and three options are left to choose from, then you should weigh your risk. So even if you have ruled out just a single option and have to decide among three, just make an educated guess and go for it. That is my personal opinion. You might want to get more aggressive with the question solving. Now, since you will not be able to see a set again once you move to the next set, you'll have to be fully done with that set before you move on. And so you'll have to increase the confidence with which you solve the questions. One tip here is to read the last line of the question first. So you know what the question is asking and you might get primed to what subject the question is from. And when you read the rest of the question, you'll be primed behind your mind what the question is trying to ask. And so you might arrive at the answer quickly. Now, one way to achieve this state of increased confidence and focus is through solving more and more PYQs. This is commonplace advice you see everywhere but this is the most important advice here because previous year questions and previous year topics are the ones that get repeated. Even if the questions don't get repeated, the topics definitely do. Now especially in the last few days, focusing on the PYQs is extremely important while avoiding the rest of the clutter. But I've experienced that whenever I solve custom modules, I'm bound to just get distracted by other questions which are not PYQs. So I've always wondered if there is a way to selectively display only the PYQs and not focus on any of the clutter. When I thought of this, one of the first things that came to my mind was the Reflex app for NeetPG which is completely PYQ centric. So recently I've been dabbling with this app and seeing how it is. This is a resource that has been recommended by Dr. Aditya Gupta himself. I have been a follower of Aditya sir throughout my NeetPG preparation also and he has been very inspiring for me. And in fact it is his videos only that opened my eyes to the concept of PYQs and how important they are. This app has over 6000 previous year questions, custom modules and grand tests. But wait. Before moving ahead, all of these features sound familiar. So what is different in this? The difference is that you stay focused only on the PYQs. There is no other clutter and so you get less of a FOMO. Now in this app, there's some option for custom modules also in which you can select a specific number of questions and you can also select whether to go only for neat PYQs or show only AIMS ones or both of them. So what you can do here is that you can create a custom module with 50 questions and only neat PYQs. And this way, this can mimic the 40 question pattern of the neat PG exam. And in this app, you can practice an unlimited number of times and there are unlimited resets. 
Besides this, the app also has notes from the experts themselves. Although I won't recommend switching to a new source of notes very close to the exam, but it's there if you want it. Now you can get all of this at just 599 rupees for 6 months. When I was preparing, this was a new resource and it was in its initial stages, so I did not try it. But now it has been well developed. So if you want to try out the Reflex app, the link will be in the description down below. Coming to the next important point about the approach is that once you are done with one set and move to the next set, no carrying the baggage of the previous set. Now this is the way in which I can feel that this pattern can be advantageous. Because at one time you will ultra focus on only 40 questions and you will not think about any of the other questions because you can't see them anyway. So more focus solving of a limited number of questions will increase the likelihood that you think properly about them and get them correct. I look at this as if they have pomodoro fight the exam. We all know the Pomodoro timer system of studying wherein we study in chunks of 25 minutes with 5 minutes of break and this is a scientifically proven technique to increase the efficiency of study. So maybe the same thing will be applicable in the exam also. Now one of the best ways to get familiarized with the new pattern of the exam is to give a GT which has the new pattern. Now fortunately even though the exam pattern has changed, after you give a grand test the process of reviewing is still the same. So my video on how to give and review GTs still remains quite valid. If you are having trouble reviewing GTs and increasing your scores you can watch that video out also. The link will be in the description and somewhere here on the video. So I hope this video helped you clarify the pattern and how to approach it. Don't stop the momentum, just keep studying, keep going ahead. All the best to each and every one of you. See you soon.